Hello, this is John at Digital Dispatcher. Hey, I want to give a quick uh, demonstration and review of the Zebra TC56. Uh, we got this thing in yesterday. We've been testing it like crazy. And uh, overall, I got to say, I really like this device. Um, it's very rugged, uh, very heavy duty feeling. Um, everything from the buttons to the charger, everything about it is, is really uh, made for durability. Um, there's a little strap here on the back that you can slide your hand into. It kind of makes it easy to to walk around and hold this thing. Um, but what we want to show the use of is there's a built-in barcode scanner actually on the top of the phone. There's a, um, a button on either side of the device to activate the barcode. And the barcode itself um, is really neat. It actually works from uh, like far distances. It reads barcodes really quickly, even if they're like faded or dirty. So um, we really like that feature, but I want to show you how it works with digital dispatcher delivery, um, specifically doing fleet fueling. So let me hop out of the way here. On the left side of the screen, you can see the actual, um, the same screen here on the TC56. So just what a driver would do, we're gonna open up the delivery app. And uh, this is what the main screen of delivery looks like. We're gonna tap route to open the, um, the driver's route. So all of his stops would be in here. We have one stop today, John's Construction Company. So we're gonna tap that customer. You can hit map. And that'll open up uh, Google Maps and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions to that customer. You can hit email and that'll send a text or an email notification to your uh, customer to say, hey, this is the driver from Taylor Oil. You're my next stop. We'll be arriving shortly. But we're going to get into the delivery. So we're going to hit deliver and hit load register. And what that's going to do is communicate with the LCR2 there. We're going to make sure that we're not currently in delivery mode and we're going to load the correct calibration for the product we're getting ready to deliver. So whether it's gasoline, diesel, uh, heating oil, kerosene, whatever it might be, if there's a different calibration point, it's going to load the correct calibration. And then the printer is going to print a header of the, um, the company information and the customer information. So now that that's done, you can see the phone says loading complete. And then it's going to say, okay, you can now flip the register into the run position. So we'll go ahead and do that. The register will clear out. And we are going to scroll down on the phone and enter fleet mode. So we'll hit fleet. And we're going to talk to the register real quick. Let's make sure that it's in the run position. And once it says that everything's okay, it's going to let you open up fleet mode. All right. So what we would do here is let's use the barcode scanner and scan our first asset. You see how quick that was. It reads it right away. We tap the volume up button on the phone and that's going to show you that this is the cat dozer. So uh, we know that um, that barcode matches this customer. If it didn't match, it would pop up and say that this asset doesn't match this customer and let the, um, the driver know that something might be up. But since it matches, it brings it up as what it is, the cat dozer. So we'll go ahead and put a couple gallons into it. And then we're going to tap the volume up button on the phone again. And it's going to communicate to the register and find out how many gallons did we just pump. And at this time, you could be pulling your hose to the next asset. So it reads those gallons. And we're going to come up to the next one. We scan that barcode. And same thing, it comes up as the cat dump. So we know that vehicle started. We'll throw a few more gallons in there and we'll tap the volume up button on the phone. And same thing, it's gonna read the register and at this point we could be pulling the hose over to the next asset. So it's finished reading and we're gonna load our, hit our last asset. And that's the cat backhoe. So we know that matches this customer. So let's pump a few gallons into here. And then we're going to tap the volume up button again. And at this point, the driver could be pulling his hose back to the truck so he's fin now that he's finished his delivery. And you can see here that we're showing that the last vehicle we did was the cat backhoe. It took 12.5 gallons. The vehicle before that was the cat dump that took 7.4. And your running total was 24.6 gallons. And you've done three assets so far. But now that we're done, we're going to flip the register to print. That's going to print out your weights and measures stamp on the printer. And then you come back to the phone and we're going to hit finish that we're finished fleet mode. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to leave the fill operations? And we're going to hit yes. And what we're going to do now 
is um, make sure that the register is in the print position and that the, um, the sale can be closed. And now we're going to hit get delivery. And at this point, you can adjust taxes if you needed to. You can um, put in that you've picked up payment, a check or cash. Um, you can also add ad charges. So for example, if you added additive or there was a, um, a special delivery fee, emergency delivery, nighttime fee, whatever it might be, any charges you might have, you can add them there at this point. You can add print notes that will actually print on the invoice. So you could say truck 103 was not here. That'll actually print on this invoice here. But we're just going to go ahead and hit proceed. That's going to communicate with the register again. And we're going to pull in all of the delivery data. So how many gallons were just delivered? Um, what's the sale number? What's the time that it was delivered? Um, the date that was delivered. It's going to pull all of that off of your LCR. And it's going to print out your detailed invoice. So gallons delivered price per gallon, any ad charges or taxes, and what the new total is. It's also going to print out your fleet delivery or your fleet detail. So all of the assets that were delivered, how many gallons went into each individual asset. It's going to print right there in the cab for you. So now that that's done on the phone, we're going to scroll down and hit save. Now all of this detailed data is going to come back to the office in real time. So within minutes of the delivery, your office personnel can tell all of the detailed delivery information. Let's show you what the slip looks like here. We have the um, just the actual invoice here for the customer. 24.6 gallons were delivered, uh, price per gallon, taxes. Here's your new charges. And then here's your fleet summary. Fleet summary, total gallons 24.6, and uh, the cat dozer took 4.7, the cat dump took 7.4, and the backhoe took 12.5 um, with your total there, and you could let the driver take a signature here. So that is the demonstration for the um, Zebra TC56 using Digital Dispatcher. Thank you so much for watching.